After the release of Escape from New York, John Carpenter immediately started working on The Thing. He had first seen the original The Thing movie when he was four years old. He saw it in a re-release theater in 1952. He thought it was so scary that his popcorn flew out of his hands. Eventually he read the short by John W. Campbell. He thought the idea of a creature being able to imitate any life form was really interesting. When it came down to writing the thing, they went back to the original short story's concept a bit more. There were multiple drafts for the thing remake, including a draft by Toby Hooper. However, none of these drafts were used, so Bill Lancaster and John Carpenter started from scratch. When production started, John Carpenter met John Lloyd. John Lloyd was a production designer for Universal. He loved the script and wanted to meet John Carpenter. Lloyd made some sketches for the movie and he got the job. Rob Bottin became the special effects and makeup artist. He was a big fan of John Carpenter's previous work on Halloween. Rob worked together with Dean Cundey on Rock and Roll High School. Rob begged Dean if he could introduce him to John. So Rob met John at a meeting during the shooting of 1980's The Fog. When Rob asked him if he could get a role in the film, John asked him to stand up. You know, I asked him this question, then he said, stand up. I thought he was going to say, and get out. Right, you know, when I was hitting him up for this, uh, this part, you know. And uh, uh, he looked at me a second, he goes, you got the job. Be there tomorrow. You know, you got to do this with the makeup, that, this. After working on The Fog, Rob and John had a good working relationship. So John asked Rob to work on the thing as well. Rob came up with the concept of the thing being able to become any sort of monster and not just having one form. He went to comic artist Mike Pluth who created some storyboards. When casting started, John Carpenter knew they had to be realistic. He wanted to make it an all-male film. He thought this would be a more streamlined approach. Kurt Russell wanted to play the lead. Besides Kurt, they looked at every good actor they could find to assemble a great cast. Preparing the iconic death scene of Norris played by Charles Hallen, took about 10 days. They molded his face in various expressions. They even took photos of his chest to get the chest hair pattern right. When they shot the scene, Charles was laying inside the examining table so that his head, arms and legs were out of the molded chest. When Richard Dysart came walking in to shoot the scene, he told Charles to put some clothes on for God's sake. It wasn't until he got a close look at him that he realized it was the fake body. Since the body needed to be ripped open, this was a one-take situation. The first take went wrong. When the slime shot out of his chest, it looked like a fountain from Las Vegas, according to Rob Bottin. Once the movie was released, the response was mixed. Audiences didn't like it much in theaters. However, on cable and video, the movie has gotten a huge cult following. Most of the cast feels that the thing didn't do too well, because at the same time the thing was released, E.T. was also released. Everyone seemed to be more in a mood for a happy alien instead of the thing.